everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So first of all, I'd like to apologize for not having an episode up for the past couple of days. Um, we've had some stuff going on here, uh, and um, we've had an emergency with one of our family members. Not in my lo not in this household, but one of our extended family members. So um, yeah, anyway, it's uh, been a couple of days, but uh, I'm going to slowly get back into it. Into it. Um, I'm only going to pull off one mission today, just going to keep it short, and then hopefully tomorrow night I'll be able to record a couple. So what I did is I laid out the Hellbringer and the Timberwolf. So we're going to bring these guys in, and we're going to get the second Lance going tonight. Because we haven't done that in quite a while. So let's have a look at the contracts here. We're still on the same planet. I haven't moved. But let's have a look at the map, though, so you can get an idea of what's going on. Ghost Bear is really uh, hammering us hard. So Karita is slowly getting whittled away. Jade Falcon is um, getting some resistance with uh, Comstar here. Looks like we've got um, Clan Diamond Shark here now too. So it's Wolf, Diamond Shark, Jade Falcon, and Ghost Bear. Uh, I don't think anybody else is on their way down. No, it's Diamond Shark. That's still Diamond Shark. Yeah, so that's kind of how it sits right now. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, I was thinking about jumping over here. It's a five skull planet, but I think we'll, we'll probably just stay here for now. Ghost Bear has fortified this. It's three and a half skulls, but we've got a couple missions here that we can take. I think they're all against pirates, though, so it's not a big deal, but at least it'll give us something to do. Got a couple of coupes here. Um, we want to go this route, though. It's, two, it's like two lances. It's a three skull, though. I think we'll be okay. Um, yeah. What do we want to do here? Sure. They got advanced gear, so let's see what we can get here. Okay, so. Maybe I should leave the main lance in, though. But not going to do that today. Let's get some Tori. Chupacabra, Speed of Sound Sonic, and we're going to run Diva. Yep, there's our Lance. They're actually pretty good. And Actually, you know what? Let's, before we start, let's go and have a look here at the barracks. Don't think I've spent all their skill points yet. Been kind of holding off on it. Yeah, see, we got a bit left. So we can go, oh yeah, plus two maximum evasion for sure. Let's go that route. And then Diva. Nope. We need some more Satori. And Speed of Sound Sonic. Okay, we're good to go with these guys. So let's uh, go back into the contracts. This should be an interesting fight, I think. I haven't played with the second Lance in quite a while. Uh, okay. Taking these guys out. And once again, we're always running with the... Uh, uh, where are we here? Speed of Sound Sonic, Diva. Always running with indi individual mechs for the second lance. So uh, I think what we're going to do. Um, so I didn't show you the mech loadouts on these guys, but we'll get a chance to see them in combat. So I'm going to put the Hellbringer there. We talked about it last episode, I think, briefly. So the Hellbringer is going to be there. Um, and what do we run with? Right, that's. Uh, so we ran. Okay, Timberwolf's going to come in as the main pilot. So we ran this, 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 and this. So we've got the archer. Let's give that to Diva. Uh, and then we'll bring the cataphract in for a little bit of firepower. Um, but we'll split the, switch these around. Chubacabra with the firepower, Speed of Sound Sonic with the Hellbringer. It's a little faster. So uh, yeah, so let's run this and see what happens. All right. Uh, what kind of place is this? It's a hell landscape is what it is. All right, so on, I did exactly what I said I was going to do with the uh, uh, Timberwolf, which was kind of go back to a more classical layout. Two ER larges, two ER mediums, and a couple of LRM 15s. Now, with this one, I did use... Uh, Let's just switch these. I did put an Artemis cockpit in, so we do have Artemis ammo. Super accurate. Uh, so hopefully we can get that going. Now we've got uh, 
at least eight turns of firing with the Artemis ammo, and then we got four turns of firing with the uh, Swarm ammo. Um, we've only got a Guardian ECM in here, a Clan Guardian ECM, which is giving us plus one defense. Uh, oh, actually, sorry, no, this guy's got the Angel Suite, uh, which is better. What's up? Um, and this is the... right. So this is the Cataphract, which we haven't changed. And so this guy here, um, I thought I would try it because there's not a lot of weight in this thing uh, for weapons because it's generally, it's like a pretty fast mech overall for a 65 tonner. It's not bad, full sprint. Um, but the idea with this guy is to get close. So I've got an SRM uh, damage um, cockpit in here. So it's plus one SRM damage. Now the Valiants all do plus one damage already, so that you can see all the SRMs are doing 10 damage. So with the LK ammo, if we all hit, uh, we can do up to 300 points damage. And then if we switch this out, we've got Deadfire ammo, which does 14 a pop. And then we've got Acid ammo, which says 10 here, but it's 50% more versus armor and minus 50% versus internal stru structure. So if we want to shred somebody's armor, we can switch to all acid. Now we've got enough ammo here. We got we fired 30 rounds. So we've got six turns of fire with any of these. It's, it is, it may seem like a little bit excessive, but it really isn't because we can mix and match if we want to. But also, um, if we're having a really hard chance to hit, we can go all LK. Uh, if, we, if we're in close with the dead fire, we have a really good chance to hit, we can uh, and it's against internal structure, we can switch to that, and then it, with the, um, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> with the acid ammo, uh, that'll be our heavy hitter to start with, so, um, yeah, we'll have a, a good number of turns to hit with that, and then, of course, our archer with uh, tons of missiles here. Artemis system, so, got a good mix of uh, long-range and short-range stuff here. All right, Chibi, let's see if we can spot anybody. Moving to position. Nope. They got advanced gear, remember. Waiting for orders. Keep your eyes peeled. Coordinates received. I'm here. Advancing. So I'm not really convinced that's the, a good load, loadout to go with, but I thought I would just try it. I'm interested to see what, what 30 SRM6s can do to somebody. Especially if they're all hitting for 15 each. Location confirmed. With the acid ammo. Oh, and I also for the sensors I added the uh, missile range sensors. What can I do for you? So the missile range is actually um, is that going to be over top of the heat? I guess so. Um, gives us plus twenty percent range. So the SRMs are shooting out to around four hundred meters, which actually isn't bad for SRMs. It's also going to give the dead the dead fire that absolute uh, needed boost because dead fire is super short ranged. Moving to position. Waiting for orders. Yeah, might as well just. Oh, we got somebody up here. What do we got here? Urban mech. Let's give him the good news. We see you. Okay, he's got, he had two PPCs on him. No point in moving if we can shoot this guy. I guess we can't. Let's move into Swirlies. Roger. Yes, that is the official name for them, Swirlies. Uh, we're going to fire on this guy. So this mech actually... You can see it's running fairly hot. Uh, it doesn't actually run that hot. Um, we do have the option to turn off like medium lasers or whatever to mix and match stuff, but um, on the Martian, envir Martian environment, it runs fairly hot. Another hit like that and you're toast. He ain't toast. We got range on this guy. Yeah, not great chance to hit. Um, I was hoping to get a TTS and stuff in there, but it just didn't work out, unfortunately. Um, yeah, heat is actually not that bad. Let's drop it in on him. Yeah, didn't last very long. 
I got him. You did. Well. Yeah, Commander. So, um. Oh, there's somebody else. What do we got? Arbiter. Wow. He's got a rack too, though. And this is only three. Well, it is three skulls. So I, I thought they'd have better stuff. Hey. Might as well not push it. If we can get out of this with zero damage. That'd be great. Yeah, no point in pushing them. Yeah, the LRMs, man. Hitting really good. Well, not not really good. I mean, like, you know, good chance to hit, I mean. Of course you are. You didn't expect these guys to, like, show up without reinforcements, did you? Yeah, let's give them the good news. Thank you. Like it very much. All right, let's move toward those new bogies. <laughs> I've missed your positive attitude. Affirmative. I don't know. I'm, I'm not Good minding enough. this lance composition. Speed of sound, Sonic. You say so. So I watched a uh, Looper video a little while. I think it was on the weekend. I watched it. I'm just gonna cool off here. Um, and it was the uh, ooh charger. Uh, let's reserve. It was the the um, top. I think it was top ten anime groin punches of all times. And I don't know if you guys have ever watched One Punch Man. If you've never watched it, um, and you want a good laugh, based on like a like you know superhero anime, oh this guy's got to go. This guy's got to go. He's got to go. Let's order this one. Um, I recommend watching it because it's just wow, that was terrible. It's absolutely hilarious. But anyway, there's a, a character called Speed of Sound Sonic. And it, he's ridiculously fast. Like, that's his thing, right? He's ridiculously fast. Hence the name. Um, but he's, like, showing off and he's flying around. He, he automatically assumed that uh, Saitama, who's the main character, was a bad guy. And he's, like, racing around him and um, you betcha. boasting that, of course, of course the he, Saitama can't. Saitama can't see him and can't do anything against him because he's so fast and he must be wondering how he's moving so quickly. Anyways, he moves in for the final strike to attack Saitama and Saitama just kind of lifts it. He's been tracking him the whole time. Just lifts his fist up and he just like, checkmate. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Speed of Sound Sonic's groin goes right into his fist. And then he's like, well, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. I was... <laughs> But anyway, it was a the the actual animation and the actual crunching sound of the balls being smashed by this guy's fist. It's just hilarious. He didn't expect that. I did. Anyways, One Punch Man is you know obviously oh. notorious for you know his name One Punch Man because he can defeat enemies with just one punch. Let's just finish this guy up. See ya. Boom, you're dead. There's only one guy left. Really? Really? Good to go. Anyway, someone did an animation of uh, Superman versus One Punch Man and how it, how tough the battle would be. Because Superman's like, you know, ridiculously strong, right? But so is One Punch Man. It's like he, every enemy that he's ever fought, he can defeat with one punch. Hence the name. So, you know. It's funny because my kid asked me, who would win in a fight, the Hulk or One Punch Man? I'm like, One Punch Man. 
There's there is no question. What can I do for you? Got it. Yeah, like I said, if you've never watched the anime but you enjoy watching anime, watch it. It is so worth it. You'd like to be as good as speed as sound Sonic. Let's go. This person is gonna die. Look at the numbers going up. It's crazy. Enemy mech. You're eliminated. Successful. All right. Well, that was not a really good test of our ability. So we are going to take the second coupe mission. Speed of sound Sonic got three kills. Uh, what do we want here? No. No, no. We got claws. We don't have any claws right now, do we? No. We were talking about... Oh, he's the pirate. Eh. We were talking about getting a... Um, got tons of heat sinks, right? Yeah. Ooh, Patrick materials. Reinforced leg. We've got one of these already. Plus 10% armor and structure to their location. That's kind of cool. We'll grab a patchwork material. Oh, we can't. We only grab two things. Nah, I don't see how this stuff's advanced, but whatever. Alright, we got the three mech parts that didn't get the one that we wanted, but we got three mech parts. Uh, yeah, whatever. Alright, well, we didn't take any damage. Yeah, we got Urban Mech 2C, though. Well, that's interesting. Van Cody technicians work this venerable design. They studied the battle. For ah, okay. I think this is this this is the du double PPC one. Let's just double check here. Um, uh, probably wrong. Urban Mac 2C. Doesn't look like it's got much left on it. Oh, it's Ultra Autocannon 10. Okay. Um. No, nah, I don't think we're ever going to use this guy. So let's just scrap it. Let's just scrap it. What are we going to get for it? Ah, 375000 You know what we're going to do with that money? We're going to go right to engineering. We're going to buy something with it. Let's let's get some good use out of it. Uh, what do we got? Drive system? 760000 Eh. A habitat pod's too expensive. Repair and repit. Refit. Machine shop, plus one tech point. Ah, maybe. Uh, gymnasium. There we go. Two morale, plus one tech points. Let's buy this. 225000 There we go. Put the money to good use. All right. So, let's take that other coupe mission right after we get our... Ah, God, I do that every time. Let's get our pilots and, and uh, stuff back. Thank you. Thank you very much. There we go. All right. We've got enough for our financial report, so all right. Let's go to uh, the contracts. It is half skull t tougher, so I don't know. We'll see how it Well, we could do capturing production. You know what? Let's do cap. Let's take, 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 let's take a four skull mission. We are rated at five after all, so why not? The Atlantis performed fairly well, I think, so let's go this route and deploy. Okay, here we go. Waiting for order. It's nice to get back into battle again. After a couple of days. Don't really want to talk about that though. Hey. It's not it's not fun when you got when you you know you got a family member on the way out and there's nothing you can do about it. Except for be there and try and help as much as you can. Um, yeah, I got a feeling. Going full speed. I don't know if we got mechs or not. It is a capture base, so it could just be turrets, but it might be mechs. I don't know, I'm not seeing anything at all. What can I do for you? Maybe they're stealthy bastards. Look at the speed of this thing. Friggin' Timberwolves, man. Got a sensor train. 
You do? Great, because I don't see where you got a sensor trace. Waiting for orders. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got four vehicles. What do we got here? Thumper, great. Fulcrum. Pirate Demon. Hybrid Carrier, TBM5, LRM15. Let's drop some shiz on this guy. Okay. Well, that's not good. He got a lot of armor, that guy. Okay, there's no turrets, which means we need to get in and kill this guy fast. We can. Or at least be in the trees. Let's at least spread out, too. Let's drop some lerms on this guy. Uh, not Swarm. Swarm does more damage, but we'll get more hits with the, uh, the Artemis ammo. Okay, what's our chance to hit? 57, eh? That's a lot better. Look at that. I totally expected that. You got like that. killer ass weapons, girl. Let's hammer this guy. Acknowledge. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Vehicle down. Good to go. Let's stay split up. If that thumper is gonna fire, I'd rather be in different positions. Firing. Oh, What's up, boss? you cannot see us. We are invisible. Invisible, I tell you. Ha, ha, ha. Got it. Uh, yeah. Engaging. Nicely done. One more for the trash. Hey. Here she comes. Speed of sound, Sonic. Yeah, that can be here for very long. Um, let's splash up the acid. Gonna give us bonus damage for everybody else. I think we've got. I think we must have a. Uh, uh, I think we must have a. Um, yeah, where are you here? It's all set to acid, huh? Not sure why one is doing less damage. Alright, firing. That should do it. There we go. Smoked up. Orders? Roger. Full now this guy's got... Yeah. Not gonna waste the ammo. Good to go. We get we can't get from the front, eh? Uh-huh. Going toe to toe. I love the look of these mechs. See, climb I don't know. Climb mechs. I don't know why I bother stepping on stuff with them. They do so such a small amount of damage. There we go. We can do this. Let's go. We totally can do this. You need to move fast speed of sound. Sonic, I don't have much time to record tonight. No shooting, just running. All right, let's set up for the yeah, the uh, reinforcements. I was going to say that I was going to say the defenders, but uh, let's give them a fair battle this time. I know I really shouldn't. But it, I mean, once you play these missions a couple times and when you know the enemies where, where they're coming from it's kind of like cheating if you kind of walk up there and get ready for them and I know I do it I think we all do it I hear ya. but um, yeah they need to like 
design a way that they'll just randomly pop in around the map. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Yeah, they're heading our way, but they ain't gonna head here for very long. Myrmidon. God, it's all vehicles. What's going on? Good to go. Can you get sensors on at least? Please and thank you. Go there we go. go. What do we got here? Stinger. And something. Commando. Oh my god. Vindicator. Oh, it's just garbage. It's just garbage. It's going to plink the weak weakest guy first. Well. What's up, boss? Unless they want to stick their face into the uh, fray here, that'll take care of them. Wait, what does he have for armament? Medium heavy laser, that's it, eh? Receiving you. Uh, you can have a stinger. Moving to position. Sell yours. Roger that. Oh. Tango down. Brutal. Pilot incapacitated. Pilot wiped out. He's wiped off the map. What? No. I was really hoping for a uh, match that we could show the uh, damage skills of this thing, but yeah, it was all acid. I don't wonder why they were all different numbers. Go back to LK. Better chance to hit firing. Hey. You know who it is, it's speed of sound. Sonic! Okay. okay, the ass is gonna do more. Cause he's still got armor left. Ooh, bye. Alright, we need to get her against some heavier mechs. Interested to see how that CERN build's gonna work. He's making a run for it. He's totally making a run for it. What can I do for you? Uh... You can't even get... I don't know what to do. Just go over here. Because why not? You're not gonna like this. Waste some ammo on this guy. Ready for orders. Well, you know what we do. Shoot cards in the back. He's gonna run. Fine. Got the angle. Didn't really have much chance though. Not even gonna bother moving. We got a better chance of the hit with a whole 12%. Sorry, 12 and a half percent. That extra half percent makes all the difference in the world. You gotta stay there. Yes, Commander. I was hoping for a fight. What's going on? What's going on with this is three and a half skulls, man? This is a four skull. What the hell? Ah, uh, you didn't quite get it. Oh, you might though. Don't even need to move. That must be like horrifically terrible to uh, go through. I think of the um, whenever I see missile rounds like that or whatever. I think of the uh, yay um, the scene from uh, Band of Brothers when they get shelled. 
They're in the forest and they get shelled. That was the uh, part where Garnier got hit. I, I can't remember who else, someone else got hit. Um, but just what it, I just couldn't imagine being there with all the trees basically exploding around you. But then you take a missile barrage like that, it just... Oh, well. See, here's the thing. I look at this, 700 meter range, damage fall off, recoil of 2, 90 damage for 50 heat, 11 tons. I'm better off with a, uh, oh, it's kind of expensive. I'm better off with a um, improved heavy laser, clan improved heavy laser for 4 tons the same damage and pretty much the same heat with no weapon fall uh, damage fall off. Oh, I think it's got a slight damage fall off, that's it. PPC, PPZ, Lumper. Lumper Dumper, let's take that. Um, don't need the sea bills. let's see what ammo we got down here. We got some Thumper, let's, oops, don't want that. Should've just clicked right in the bottom, yeah. Let's take all three of these. I don't know if we'll use them, but we might as well take them. Just so we have them. Gives us an op opportunity to use them. Although we'd have some more swarm ammo. So one thing we were missing, swarm ammo. Um, but we never really used it last battle. It's great if we're on missions for um, where you're doing a uh, convoy ambush, because it'll spread some damage around. Those missiles that won't hit the one vehicle might hit something else. But how many rounds are here? Eight shots. So we don't we don't need two of those. So that will give us the opportunity to take uh, some more swarm. Sure, let's go that route. All right, medium heavy laser pirate. BC tag, which I think we're out of, aren't we? No, we got three. Couple TB fives, couple of uh, cores. That's kind of that's not bad. All right, so it was that was okay for stuff that we got out of that. All right, so I feel confident that second lance could probably run a three and a half four skull against Ghost Bear, and our main lance can definitely do a four four and a half, almost a five skull against Ghost Bear. So I think if we go to a four skull planet, uh, like the one I had targeted for the next episode, I think we can probably get some good missions off. Uh, we got enough sea bills for the next um, financial report, but I'll see if I can find a planet within 18 days. Uh, I don't think there is, but uh, the one that I was that I had clicked on at the beginning of the episode was 23 days away. But still, that's that's okay. That'll get us through our we can get through our financial report, get in and do some good combat. So hopefully, we can do some better missions tomorrow night. Once again, I apologize for being away for the past couple days, but you know, real life calls and you got to answer. So this is the way it is. All right. So if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. How do you feel about the second lance? Is that 5 SRM 6 uh, loadout? How do you guys feel about that? It's actually pretty pretty high DPS if you look at it. If we hit with the acid uh, missiles, 30 times 15 is 450 damage. It's not bad if we hit with all. And then because it's acid, you know, the other guys are going to get a uh, bonus damage against the vehicle too, So uh, or the mech. But anyway, yeah, leaving it there. So until next time, we'll see you later.